Hey, what's up everybody? Zach Warren here at Phillips RV coming at you from Bradley, Illinois. And right here behind me, we have a Heartland North Trail Caliber Edition. Uh, this is a bunkhouse trailer. I kind of want to go over the exterior and talk about their amazing construction. Um, Heartland is all about construction. Let's kind of go over what we got. Uh, if you notice the top here, if any of you uh, people watching this are familiar with boats, uh, this front is actually built more like a boat than it is like a camper. Uh, normally on campers, you're going to have your seam right here. Now on this one, it's built like a hull of a boat where it's wrapped around. Now the benefit of that is that wind's going to constantly hit this thing going down the road. It's going to beat on that seam. This creates less maintenance on the seams here um, as they're wrapped around and it's hitting an actual solid surface. It's going to bounce off more. It's not going to hit that seam. Now, we're going to have two 20 pound propane tanks up here along with a power tongue jack. Now this power tongue jack, it has a light. Uh, it's an easy off, easy on process, no cranking, no standing out in the hot weather and getting your sweat on. Now if you look right down here, you're going to see this little thing that, calls, that says Furion. Now this is actually solar ready. So what you can do here, if I can get it open, which I probably can't, there we go. Um, you can actually plug a solar box into here and that will trickle charge your battery. So if you're boondocking or you're dry camping, you can charge your battery and go off of that. Um, that way you don't actually have to be plugged in the power, you don't drain your battery. Now they have these really nice diamond plating on here for this year. Uh, it, it makes a really cool aesthetic, a little bit more of a rugged look. Now these right here are your through storage. So this is what they call a slam latch. What a slam latch does, it's a magnetic part right here. When this comes up, there's no clips. You know, if you ever have those clips on the side, sometimes you can forget, pull that door down and break that clip. This doesn't happen with the magnets. Now when you're done, there's no twisting or any kind of sealing. You let the door close, it slams, it locks right away. Now this is a really cool part of these campers. These are our solid steps. So. I'm a bigger guy, so when I get up in those campers, that camper likes to rock with my weight. With these solid steps, they're actually on the ground. Now what you do with these is, there's a really unique storage process. You lift them right up, and they actually store inside the camper. Now there's less maintenance on these because you don't have the corrosion, the road, the water getting into them, rusting them, taking the grease away from anything. They always store up here, they stay nicer. Then to bring them down, you just twist the handle and pull. they come right down to the ground. Now with the North Trail, you do not have a clip. It is a friction hinge door. So wherever you want to sit it, it will stay. Again, nothing to be broken. Power awning with a LED light strip. Now this right here, this is your black tank flush valve. What the black tank flush valve does is make sure your black tank is clean at all times. It's just an extra step of just emptying it. That way you're not going around with any nasty stuff inside your camper. Another beautiful thing with this, exterior door to the bathroom. Your kids are dirty, they've been out, they're all muddy, you don't want to traipse it through your camper. Mama does not want to clean up after them. So you send them right through this door into the bathroom, tell them to clean up, and that way they're not walking through your camper as a mess. Another great thing for the family is we have an outdoor kitchen. Now I'm gonna to try to open this up as much as I can with this camper next to it, but you can see, you get the refrigerator, you get the TV with the caliber edition, cabinets, sink and a platform for any kind of prep. Now the caliber comes in two ways. It's either going to come like this and they're going to give you a grill that's going to mount to the bumper or they're going to give you a two burner top instead of this. Now with these again, these are slam latches. I'm going to show you how these work. Just push. It's closed. Coming around to the back here, we've got your spare tire and a rack. Now most people use these to store their totes. Uh, other people do have bikes. This actually comes with a bar to turn this into a bike rack. Uh, it comes right down, it's standing on this camper. Your outdoor shower is right here. If your dog needs a washing or your kids are extremely dirty and even too dirty for that bathroom, you can use that there. Now, these are your slides on this side. Everything on this side is going to have your black tank and gray tank dump. And again, you have these beautiful graphics. This is a laminated exterior, no aluminum. Um, and it's gonna have the aluminum studs on the inside. Just a higher grade camper. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this video again. My name is Zach Warren. I work over here at Phillips RV and Bradley. In the next video you're gonna see, we're gonna talk about construction on the inside. Hi, I'm Zach Warren here at Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois. 
coming at you with the second part of this uh, North Trail Caliber uh, by Heartland uh, video. This is on the inside construction. I'm very, very big on construction of these. Uh, reason being is you're living in these. It's going to keep you cool. It's going to keep you warm and it's got to last. Heartland is very, very big on construction. I, I like to say that they're one of the top out there for it. The first thing I do in every camper is most salesmen aren't going to want you to touch anything, but as soon as I walk in, I do this. I hit the ceiling. The reason why I do that is you heard that hard thud. There is no flex to this ceiling. Eighth inch piece of styrofoam keeps your hand cool from boiling hot coffee. This is four inches of styrofoam in the ceiling. That keeps you cool from that sun beating down on this roof. Now the second thing is, if my camera lady wants to turn, when you walk into these campers, all you see is a quarter inch piece of trim right here. A lot of other campers, you're going to notice this door frame is going to jut out from the wall. <clears throat> the reason why this is important is this is a full two inch wall. This is a two and a quarter inch door frame with a full two inch wall. Again, better insulation. Keeps you cooler, keeps you warmer. So many companies out there are skimping and only using a one and a half inch wall. Now, with the Caliber Edition, you get these hard surface countertops. This is not a laminated press board countertop. This is not a cheap layover over wood. This is a hard surface countertop like you would find in your home. Now, this does have a stainless steel sink. They give you the covers for the sink to give you more counter space as well as a cutting board for cutting surfaces. They fit down in here snug. And then with it, the next thing I want to talk about is what I'm standing on right here is the floor. A lot of companies out there, what they're going to do is they're going to use four by eight sheets of plywood that are connected together. The problem with that is, is as you're driving down the road, those plywood pieces are going to shake they're going to bend, they're going to warp. Over time, they're going to become disconnected and they're going to start actually warping underneath of you. <coughs> what Heartland does is, any camper that is 30 feet and under, this is one solid piece of wood all the way through. There's no buckling, there's no warping, there's no moving. If by any chance the camper is over 30 feet, the seam is going to be in the bedroom underneath the bed. It is a low traffic area and it's a less chance of any kind of movement because it's over the A-frame. Now, we talked about construction. The next video, we're going to talk about the features of this camper and how it's going to suit you and your living. So we'll see you next time. Remember, we're ready to send you on an adventure. Make some memories. Hey everybody, Zach Warren coming at you from Phillips RV in Bradley, Illinois. This is the third video in this series for the Heartland North Trail Caliber. Now, I want to start back here because this is the whole reason why this camper is awesome. This is what they call a bunk room. Now this will sleep four little ones. You have a bunk here, you have a bunk up here. Now if you look down here, these look like little sofas. Now they are, if they wanna watch TV, they have cup holders and everything, that way they don't spill their juice on your carpet. But these actually come out in the mattresses so you can sleep two more on bottom. Now the other nice thing with this is if we look underneath the bunk, we have an entertainment stand with storage. So, again, kids get rowdy, they're young, they have their friends over, they're going to want to play. You can put a TV in here with an Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever you want. You can store their games and DVDs, or you can have their clothes in here. But this gives them an area away from you to come out and play and get out of your hair for a while. I mean, you can actually close them out and have your privacy. Now, coming back in here... This top bunk right here over to the left, if you do choose to sit here, this actually comes up and it mounts to the wall. And it will stay up here. So this gives them more seating room if you have taller kids. <coughs> now, with this room, it is ducted for air conditioning, it is ducted for heat, and it has its own vent. Now backing up through the camper, I want you to look at the ceiling. This is what they call a ducted camper. You have an actual thermostat right here. It is a digital thermostat. You can set it to an auto temperature just like your house. The air conditioning comes through the ceiling. The heat comes through the floor. It is not just a window air conditioner. It's like central air in this camper just like your home. Now your bathroom is right here. We talked about in the first video that uh, door that leads right on the inside. 
This has a beautiful toilet. It's a corner toilet, so it gives you more room. Again, if you're taller or you're bigger like me, you want the room. It's got the beautiful countertop here with the sink and the vanity or the uh, medicine cabinet with the mirror. Now, I like these because they're not slide doors. They're not pocket doors. They're real residential-like doors with the door handle. Now, coming right back here is something that is only available in the Caliber Edition. This is a central vacuum. It comes with the toes. It's actually got an underneath storage for the uh, dirt and everything. You don't have to bring a vacuum. It's already included in here. They give you the hose. Fuse panel here and your carbon monoxide detector. Now, as always with these campers, you have your dinette. This will turn into a bed. Uh, this just sits right down on the little slats in there. These become the other part of the bed. You have the beautiful stylized lighting over the dinette. Now, all these cabinets are wood front. They are no press board. The hinges are hidden hinges. Again, only available in the Caliber Edition. That way you don't have metal hinges sticking out all over the place and they're using more residential hardware in these. This couch does fold out into a bed. This is not a jackknife. As you can see in here, this is an actual pull-out sofa. So it's a little bit more room than just having a four-foot jackknife. We talked about in the last video with the countertops, but to go over a little bit more, when we look at the sink, remember the sink is stainless steel, but this is an actual drop handle. This is like a residential faucet. It's a high faucet. So you have your drop handle, you have all the stainless steel. Now with the stove, with the cooktop, you have a couple functions here. This right here covers your stove. Now first of all, you're in a camper, it's a little bit small in home. This gives you extra counter space to work with. Secondary, if you're making pasta or anything with sauce, you can flip this up. And this now becomes a secondary backsplash. It's a lot easier to clean that glass than it is to clean the walls. Um, in this one, we have the auto refrigerator. This runs off electricity or gas. If you're not plugged in electricity, you have stuff in here like going down the road, this will run off of gas. Now coming back here, we have our entertainment stand. CD, DVD, Bluetooth, AM, FM, auxiliary, SD, and USB. All of them can do this. It runs right into here. Again, with the Caliber Edition, they give you a TV. Um, you can put a DVD here and watch it right in here. Now, in here, we have our master bathroom. Yes, this has a bath and a half, so the kids have their own bathroom. Now, if you come in here, this one is going to have your corner toilet. It's going to have the glass door shower. It's a decent sized shower with the skylight in case you're taller. You have the bring down head so you can use it to wash yourself. You can hold it in your hand. Countertop here and again another medicine cabinet with a mirror. Now there are two ways into the bedroom. There's one behind this door and through here. This is what they call a pass through bathroom. Now coming through the bathroom, I'm going to have my camera lady turn around and show you that black box on the wall. What this is right here is you actually can check your gray tank, your black tank, your battery, everything on this to see how your levels are. Now with these, they have uh, a gas or electric water heater. You can run it off of gas or you can run it off electric or you can run it off of both and up your gallons per hour. Now coming through here, through the pass-through in the bathroom, we're going to come into the bedroom. Now the bedroom has its own TV backer location up against the right wall uh, with its own cable or satellite hookup. You get the standard bed with the sheet set, uh, with the uh, comforter set. Plenty of storage in here. Again, wood fronts, hideaway hinges, plenty of storage for clothes for a weekend getaway, even a week getaway. Uh, you have the nightstands here with the plug-ins to charge your phone, whatever you need. Uh, again, just a beautiful camper. I'd like and to I'll welcome you to go on an adventure and make some memories with us. This was the Heartland North Trail Caliber Edition. We'll be seeing you down here to get you in one of these great campers.